KATC Weatherland, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, we're heading into a rainy, perhaps a stormy day tomorrow. The threat of severe weather as well, and it's a low end threat of severe weather. But just got to remind you, even the days where you have a low end severe weather threat doesn't mean you're not going to see a high impact event. We saw that up in Nashville, a low end severe weather threat and an EF3 tornado carrying 165 mile an hour winds with the northern fringe of the subtropical jet uh, up here. So uh, we're not expecting that but we do have a weather system and it's going to be an energetic system. It's over in West Texas. It's going to be moving eastward and it's already casting some light rain shower activity as we have the southeasterly winds feeding in warm and humid air from the Gulf of Mexico. Got up to 78 in Lafayette. 80 degrees in New Iberia this afternoon, so it was a warm one indeed. Now we do have showers on the radar as we're seeing mostly scattered lighter showers, a little bit more substantial showers as we get down into, uh, say, Iberia Parish, and then we'll move it into uh, Vermilion Bay, some shower activity. So uh, we're going to get wet towards Sippermore Point and points from uh, Iberia Parish on eastward into St. Mary Parish. These showers running eastward, and they're moving along at a pretty good clip. So let's take a look at the model data. This is the latest three kilometer NAM model and knows the storms get cooking in the northern part of the state, central northern part of the state overnight tonight. Maybe a severe weather threat from Mississippi back through northern Louisiana and then also back through Texas. We'll watch that. Meanwhile, for us, warm and humid temperatures bottom out near 70. Now, I think if we see any severe weather tomorrow, it's going to be limited to late morning, early afternoon. So we'll watch these storms right here because we do have some rotation potential that could produce isolated tornadoes here and or a storm that could produce damaging winds. And then we get to three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, those stronger storms push off to the east and our winds turning around out of the northeast out ahead of this area of low pressure. So that will limit the severe weather potential, but it may not limit the possibility of some hail and some of the heavier storms. But the models have been consistent, not indicating we're going to get a big super soaking, but we're going to have a rainy day. And by this time tomorrow night, low pressure just to the south of us. So still showers in the area. Then it begins to scoot off to the east as we head toward Thursday morning and we're left with cloudy skies early Thursday, breezy and cooler and hopefully a little sunshine by late Thursday afternoon. If not, Friday's looking pretty good. So is Saturday for that matter. As for the severe weather threat, the Storm Prediction Center is maintaining a slight risk of 15% chance of storms that could contain isolated tornadoes, perhaps damaging winds and hail. So we'll watch for that uh, very closely. So tune in tomorrow morning. Daniel Phillips will have the very latest on the severe weather threat and looking at some of the metrics. This is what's called helicity or spin potential in the atmosphere that could generate tornadoes. And this is just at 10 o'clock in the morning and notice the area, the hot spots over here, southeast Louisiana, but the models are not indicating any storms. You have to have storms here to have a tornado. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. So helicity leads to a tornado spin uh, potential and then we'll go to uh, what's called the uh, significant tornado index and we'll go. You can see still a slight threat uh, St. Mary Parish on southeastward, and this is the significant tornado index. It's highest roughly at the same time, southeast Louisiana from St. Mary Parish over to NOLA, and then we don't see much in the way of any other parameters that really are bird dogging us that we're going to have a severe weather event. But again, that being said, it's those low end events that can be quite sneaky, and we're not expecting uh, any rain, uh, any flooding issues. We are expecting an inch, inch and a half of rain. Heaviest rains will be in the northern part of the state and then over toward Baton Rouge as well. So your 24 hour forecast, we start off pretty quiet. Some fog coming in overnight tonight, then rain chances ramping up. If we see anything, we might see a tornado watch possible for portions of the area, if not southeast Louisiana. We'll have to wait and see on that. And as we move into the 10 day forecast, much better weather on the way. Let's get this stuff out of the way for Wednesday because we have a good looking back end of the week and the weekend looking pretty good. If you don't mind uh, some dull sunshine mixed with plenty of high clouds, temperatures cooler and then getting a little bit milder by the end of the weekend next week. Lots of 70s and more showers in the forecast. All right, thanks, Rob.